in this lesson i'll briefly discuss the relationship between uh, different sets of parameters now given one set of parameters you can find all the others also okay all it uh, entails is rearranging of the two equations okay because for instance you would write for uh, the y parameter equations you would write currents as functions of voltages okay now if you rearrange the same thing so that you have uh, voltages as functions of uh, the currents i1 and i2 you get the z parameter set okay instead if you have i2 and b1 as a function of uh, i1 and b2 you get the h parameter set and so on so it's just a matter of manipulating the equations now what i wanted to show here is in this uh, table i have listed all of the parameter definitions the way we measure them that is we either open circuit or short circuit some port and take the ratio of uh, voltage to current or current to voltage or ratio of voltages or currents as appropriate okay what i want to highlight is that no two of these are the same that is you may be measuring the same quantities but they will be under different conditions for instance first of all let's look at y11 we are taking the ratio i1 by v1 whereas for z11 we are taking v1 by i1 okay but y11 is measured with port 2 short circuited z11 is measured with port 2 open circuited so please do not make the mistake of confusing z11 with 1 by y11 okay the same thing goes for z22 and y22 as well also if you look at the expressions y1 is i1 by v1 and g11 is also i1 by v1 but again they are measured under different conditions y11 is with port 2 short circuited and g11 is with port 2 open circuited so y11 is not equal to g11 okay because although they are ratios of the same quantities they are measured under different conditions so please don't make elementary mistakes like this while converting from one parameter set to another or things like that what is true is that y1 is i1 by v1 with v2 equal to 0 that is port 2 short circuited h11 is v1 by i1 with v2 equal to 0 also with port 2 short circuited it is a different ratio though. So, we can clearly say that y 11 is 1 by h 11. Okay. Similarly, both z 11 and g 11 are measured with port 2 open circuited. So, z 11 is 1 by g 11. Okay. So, these kind of uh, relationships you can build up and you can also build up relationships for other parameters, but especially important not to make this type of mistake. Now, the other relationship between the entire sets you already know, okay. the z parameter is basically the inverse of the y parameter or y is the inverse of z matrix. Similarly, H is the inverse of uh, G matrix or G is the inverse of H matrix. Okay. Now, of course, if uh, some of these matrices are not invertible, then you cannot invert it and find finite valued parameters. Okay. For instance, if H matrix is not invertible, you cannot have finite G parameters for that particular circuit. Okay. So, that means that that circuit cannot be meaningfully represented by g parameters okay but if they are invertible you can use any of the four parameter sets for describing the circuit okay 